Welcome to Electron Online. Before we start using vector products and cross products, well, they're really the same thing, we want to be familiar with some of the rules. They're very important because we can make easy mistakes if we don't watch these rules. And we're going to be using vector products and cross products in many, many different applications. So the first one, we're probably already familiar with that one, is that we have a cross product a cross b or the vector product a times b is equal to the negative of b times a and the reason for that is simply the the rule of cross products is that when you do a product between two vectors you take your fingers and you point them in direction the first vector then you point your fingers in direction of the second vector so we go a cross b and your thumb points upward and then if we do the thing in reverse then you point your fingers in the direction of B, curl your fingers in the direction of the A vector, and then your thumb points in the opposite direction. So simply one is the opposite of the other, and we can, we can indicate that with the negative sign. So you can see that in this case, C is the result of A cross B, and minus C is the result of B cross A. They have the same magnitude, they're simply pointing in opposite directions. But we also have what we call the distributive property, and we have the associative property. In the case of the distributive property, if we have two vectors added together, and then we take that sum and we have it as part of a cross product, f cross a plus b, we can actually separate that and write as f cross a plus f cross b. That's perfectly fine. That works out, and you get the same results. However, the associative property does not work for cross products or vector products. Here we have f cross a cross b, if we do f cross a first, and then we take that result and do cross b, you get a different result, so it's not the same as if you do a cross b first, and then you do f cross the result of that. You will not get the same result, so you got to be very careful about doing that. Also, you do not want to rearrange. So you don't want to do the commutative property where, where you can rearrange the cross products. And you do not want to use associative property. You don't want to uh, take f cross a first, and then do cross B and expect the same result as if you do A cross B first and then you do a cross F. So it does not work that way, so be very careful about those rules. Once you have those rules down and we start applying it, then you're going to have a good time with these and you won't make any mistakes. Well, let's try not to make any mistakes. That's how it's done.